humans and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk a little bit and learn a little bit about oil paints now this is kind of a guide for those of you who are uh, maybe new to the hobby or maybe intimidated uh, by oil paints um, but I have a method here that is very easy to uh, get a nice uh, better than tabletop uh, standard I think uh, painting your miniatures in this method will actually generally get a little bit of a wow from uh, your uh, other players maybe in your D&D campaign or the people that you're playing um, a war game uh, against um, and it does not require that much uh, talent or experience now the first step to getting ready for the oil paints is we are going to um, oh, skip the whole slap chop thing slap chop is uh, is so popular right now but I think this is easier um, and maybe a little bit more advanced but I if I could do it you could do it now generally what we're gonna do now is we prime these miniatures uh, white and we're going to just do the basic two thin coats sometimes one of our basic tones here and I'm choosing a very simple color palette of just a few colors here I have like a purple a couple different purples a sort of tan color for the skin tone with, as well as a brown to blend into that and then a red and a little bit of green for some of the other uh, details on these miniatures so I'm kind of going for like a similar um, motif to some of the stuff that I'm batch painting here but also too this is kind of part of the process of if you're a beginner to just sort of choose like four or five colors that work together and sometimes with creative pursuits especially anything creative I find that when you limit yourself a little bit when you constrain maybe the tools that you are going to use to be creative that uh, generally you will harness uh, more creativity in uh, said activity and just really basic here and uh, these are some really cool miniatures you're going to see uh, in this uh, video which we are going to do a feature um, soon enough about these miniatures but these are the, these are the deus lair miniatures this is a, a crowdfunding campaign from uh, archon studio and uh, man something like 400 miniatures i pledged for and uh, let me just say that i have my hands uh, full um, I got activities uh, for for myself for the next uh, few weeks here months maybe a year um, and uh, also I'm very impressed by that but we're not gonna talk too much about it because we are gonna do a video on itself this is a more about the painting and there is some some tiny little bit of blending I'm doing but nothing too crazy um, just in that skin you can see I sort of put a little bit of brown that blended into uh, the uh, tan color here I'm just doing a couple uh, little highlights here some green spots and just like bare bones color on uh, the miniatures I have did two coats but you could get away with one with this method and um, very very simple method easy if you're new to this it's basically you know like a coloring book we're just filling in uh, the spaces we're just making sure uh, that there's separation going over the uh, the borders of each color to make sure that those spots uh, work and that we can identify that with with the eye and uh, just very simple and I think even if you're just getting started this is a easy easy uh, method and I'm using uh, Vallejo paints which have a really nice uh, amount of pigment so I'm able to get some nice blends here by barely uh, just a few coats here. Um, this stuff is uh, really nice and I definitely you know highly recommend it and uh, I'll put links to all this uh, stuff here and then we have another cool miniature here and uh, Archon Studios they've done a really cool job they've invented some kind of different they've sort of riffed on some of the current D&D stuff and, and they have these guys they're called Krill which are like uh, these bird people and to me they look just like uh, the Skeksis from the Dark Crystal um, 
yeah, hit that like button below and or no comment below if the dark crystal freaked you out as a little kid like it did uh, me. Um, the Skaxis were scary. They're like these vulture bird people. Um, and Jim Henson created these amazing animatronic uh, puppets. And if you haven't seen the Dark Crystal, um, first slap yourself. Uh, yeah, slap yourself first. And uh, yeah, soon. And get yourself to uh, some sort of media version of that Dark Crystal and see it. It's just amazing uh, imaginative uh, movie. But anyways, yeah, so going back, um, they've definitely created a very cool uh, line of miniatures, and uh, we'll put a link, of, obviously, to that below. And now I'm coming back to uh, my ogre boy, I'm doing my second coat here, and we're just doing some just tiny little uh, baby highlights, nothing too advanced, I just blended a little bit of white with that skin tone, I'm just hitting some of the raised uh, edges here which if you get a good enough light at your desk you can kind of cheat and see where that that light lands um, or another great way to do it is to find a colored light and put it next to the miniature in the way that you'd like to paint the light and it'll kind of like you know use a blue light you'll see the little blue parts you know take a picture and then you can kind of go back and uh, and hit those spots if you have trouble identifying. And then so off camera, we painted another one of their great miniatures here because we're gonna do a couple so that you can kind of see the results that we get on multiple miniatures. And uh, just very simple paint jobs. And I mean, heck, if you, if you wanted to leave them like this, you could. Um, but the next step I think is uh, pretty easy. And I think if you're already a beginner, um, or even if you've been in the hobby for a while, oil paints are a lot easier um, and a lot more forgiving than you might think. Um, now, oil paints are like these enamel-based paints, so they are uh, allergic to water. You cannot use water with them, and you have to use mineral spirits. Now, there is a little bit of a uh, financial buy-in. Oil paints are generally a little bit more expensive than even our hobby paints that we use um, but generally like they are so powerful that these little tubes that I'm using like this you know basically will last you for years and what we're gonna do today is kind of the first uh, step into using oil paints on miniatures we're not going to generally use them for like the normal painting of, of the tones you can um, and you'll find that that could be a very cool way to get awesome blends um, because oil paints will remain wet for for basically you know a week to a week and a half if you just leave them out so you can go back days later with some mineral spirits or other oil paint and, and blend it into some of the current uh, you know colors that you've had where the acrylics will dry completely and you will have to then sort of glaze and so this is a, a different way of like just think of the oil paints basically as like constantly being wet. Um, now, right today we're just doing a general wash here. So I have a little cup, I have some brushes, a little glass bottle, um, because the mineral spirits will eat through certain uh, things. So you're going to generally create a wash here. So I have maybe um, one part oil paint to maybe five to four parts uh, mineral spirits and we're gonna mix it up and then I have this little glass piece here separate here that I'm gonna I can put some spirits in in order to uh, wash the brush in between or add a little bit more spirits too because um, the spirits can be expensive too so I like to keep some of the stuff that might be dirty that I washed in order to like mix into uh, the next uh, batch and so here I'm just mixing, I'm going to play a little bit, oops, build some on the desk there, and you're going to make this wash basically a little bit thicker than, you know, these normal sort of like army painter, citadel, like gnome oil type washes, if that's what you're familiar. Like it's going to look really messy. Um, it's going to look like you've basically ruined the miniature and thrown it into uh, mud. But I want you guys to see here how the oil paint um, reacts to the miniature. Basically the oil, the surface tension of this 
this paint combined with the mineral real spirits just flows um, like a contrast paint um, l like uh, a wash which you've put maybe like a little bit of a uh, dial uh, dish soap type stuff in there it just flows really well it automatically begins to gather in the creases and the crevices of your miniature now you see here um, we've put the light a little bit close so the camera's having a little bit of trouble focusing but yeah it looks like we ruined them it looks like we've just thrown these miniatures into uh, the mud and we come back a few hours later the oil paint has dried a little bit it's become kind of tacky it's lost some of its gloss and we put some of the mineral spirits onto a cloth we use some of these q-tips and then we can begin to wipe away some of the oil paint from the raised surfaces and to create this really nice uh, contrast meanwhile the dark of the wash remains uh, in the places that we want it and you could take this um, as far or as little as you want it but basically we have a pretty impressive like finished miniature um, you could go back and do a few highlights on this if you want but at this point you have a very impressive looking miniature that doesn't require a lot of time the most time that it really requires is to just dealing with the oil paint how it takes a long time to dry but generally I'll let you in on a little secret if you leave it for a few hours and then find use a uh, like an airbrush or even a, just a regular brush which you will probably ruin um, but we're hobbyists and we're not we're, we're used to that um, and you can cover uh, the oil paint and varnish which will get rid of uh, the tackiness because even if you like let it dry for a few weeks generally the oil paint will remain sort of like sticky which is not really conducive to uh, gameplay it looks good and then also the oil paint can be generally very glossy and so we want to put some uh, matte varnish on there to kind of get rid of the shine unless that is uh, part of the motif of the miniature that you were going for um, but yeah so this is just kind of an easy uh, way to get a really good looking result uh, with very little effort and if you can basically paint a color book coloring book um, you could do this uh, the wash and the wiping away portion really requires uh, no talent or practice or, or brush skills and you can paint a lot of miniatures uh, fast this is kind of like a nice look if you want that sort of uh, grim dark look um, some people like a more comic book style but um, generally uh, you're gonna get a nice re uh, result with this um, and getting familiar with the oil paints it'll become easier and easier as you uh, move along and uh, also too the oil paints can be very stainy like contrast paints so it can be irritating to the skin it won't kill you but uh, I like to wear gloves just because of the, the staining effect and uh, yeah you can you can even come back days later with mineral spirits it's a little bit uh, harder um, but generally I like to do it a few hours after because um, you can um, if you go too hard you can actually rub uh, some of your paint away from the acrylic on the bottom um, but yeah so we have this wolf rake here looks really great once again Archon Studio really cool uh, miniatures and then I have my little glass bottle here which I use to keep uh, the oil paint brushes uh, clean and generally once you use a brush for the oil paint it's going to be for oil paints uh, forever you don't want to cross your acrylic uh, paint brushes with your oil paint brushes but just you know have a little container where you keep them uh, separate so there you go guys that's your easy tutorial here on how to use oil paints for washes with miniatures and uh, I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, if you enjoyed this uh, please give it please give us that like uh, and give us that subscribe dude and uh, you know it helps uh, get us along cost no money and uh, if I didn't earn your subscription this time check out our backlog we have all sorts of crafting painting videos and uh, thanks for your time and we're gonna roll that beautiful bean footage